Are you trying to restore or retrieve your meeting recordings, which you recorded using Microsoft Teams? Well, that's exactly what we are going to talk about in this video. When you record your meetings in Microsoft Teams, whether they are channel meeting or non-channel meetings, those recordings are actually saved in different locations. And those meeting recordings have an expiry date. If you don't extend the expiry date or download those meeting recordings, those meeting recordings actually gets deleted after the expiry date. If you want to know more about extending the expiry date, I've actually created another video on how to extend the expiry date of those meetings. So in this video, we're going to look at how to actually retrieve or restore those meeting recordings which actually got expired or maybe deleted. And let's go and start the video. So we normally have two types of recordings. One type of recordings are basically your channel recordings that you record in your channel. So whenever you have a meeting, um, which is a channel meeting and you record those meetings, then those end up in your channels. So these are called channel meeting recordings. The other type of meetings are basically your um, non-channel recordings. So if you have one-on-one -on -one meetings with someone or if you have you know, other meetings that you have recorded, so those are called non-channel recordings. So your non-channel recordings are basically saved in your OneDrive. So if you go to your OneDrive and click on My Files and then click on Recordings, you will find those recordings there. And for channel recordings, if you go to the channel itself and then click on Files, and under that you will find a folder called Recordings and your channel recordings are there in within that recordings folder in your channel. Now, obviously these meetings have expiry dates. So if you haven't extended the expiry date, these meetings are going to expire and then they get deleted after a certain period of time. Now, so in order to retrieve your expired meetings, based on a type of meeting that you currently have, you know, we have different methods of retrieving them. So for example, to retrieve in the um, channel meetings, which has expired, right? So I had a meeting um, in my um, project XYZ team, so which was under general. And if I go to files, um, I don't find that meeting anywhere, right? And I want to retrieve that expired meeting for my channel, which was a channel meeting. Okay, so in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to browse to this site in SharePoint. So I click on my channel, um, the meeting was in my private channel, and I click on files, um, and obviously I don't have that meeting. And then I click on this Eclipse button, and then say open in SharePoint. So once I have my channel opened in SharePoint, to retrieve the meeting which was expired or deleted, I then click on the recycle bin. So if I click on the recycle bin, now I can see that this was the meeting which got deleted. These meetings, um, the recycle bin, basically um, all, all your files stay there for 93 days. If someone deletes the files from the recycle bin, then they actually go into the second stage recycle bin and you might find all of your deleted files from the second stage recycle bin. So I already have my meeting within the recycle bin. Now in order to restore this meeting, I need to select this meeting and then click on restore. Once you have done that, then you need to click on the documents. So if I click on the documents and under that I will find a folder called recordings. So if I click on recordings, I can now see that I have this recording which I have just restored for my private channel. Now if you want, you can extend the expiry date. You can just simply select um, this recording and then click on the information button on the right hand side and you can change the expiry date if it has an expiry date. Normally, whenever you restore the meetings, um, they don't have any expiry date. So those meetings are then going to stay with you forever. 
So that's how you restore your um, channel meetings. Now, if you have any recordings in your OneDrive, right, and if those recordings are expired, then you need to log on to OneDrive. And then under OneDrive, obviously, to find your recordings, you need to click on My Files and then click on Recordings. But if those recordings are expired or deleted, then you can click on the Recycle bin on your left-hand side. So if I click on the Recycle bin, then you will find all those meetings under the Recycle bin. I currently don't have any expired meetings, but if I delete this meeting, let's just say I want to delete this meeting and click delete, which is kind of, you know, it expired. Then if I click on recycle bin, then I will find this meeting in within my recycle bin. Um, if you can't find it in your recycle bin, or if you have deleted this from your recycle bin, you can always click on the second stage recycle bin and you probably might find your meeting over there um, and then you just simply select the meeting and restore it but in my case it is in the recycle bin so I'm going to select this meeting and then I'm going to click on the restore button once I do that then this meeting will basically go back to my recordings folder so I click on my files and then click on recordings and I can see that the recording has been restored. So depending upon, you know, what sort of meetings that you want to restore. So you have a couple of different ways uh, for non-channel recordings. Um, you can actually retrieve those recordings from the recycle bin. Uh, and for channel recordings, you can retrieve those meetings from the SharePoint site of that channel. Now, if those meetings has already expired and then they got deleted from your uh, recycle bin after, you know, the retention period, which is 93 days, then unfortunately you won't be able to retrieve those meetings. If you don't want to lose your meeting recordings, it's always a good idea to extend the expiry date of those meetings or maybe download the meeting recordings. Well, that's it for today and I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or feedback please put them below in the comment section and again if you want to know more about extending the expiry date of the meeting recordings in Microsoft Teams please watch the another video which actually I've created specifically on how to extend the expiry date. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Thank you.